crate raiders, man. We raid crates. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nothing like you ever seen in your life A lot of light to shine through Water blacks and the whites Water colors uh, Water colors Check it out now uh, Color me black with hints of green Trace water colors running through my bloodstream These fills of dreams, they seem pristine But they kinda blue, James Earl Jones and Claudine Mixed with a little yellow, it's quite stellar Fly by starlight, I'm an all pro color Plain, from this gut I just came To expand my brain via my DNA strain Happiness is the connection of veins, while pain is when veins can't maintain in a lane will get so slain. Alright, y'all know how it goes down. Crate Raiders crew, we raid the crates, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna tell y'all where we at. I will tell you, we in Philly, we in Southwest Philly, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna tell y'all the block, but behind these doors, it's some crates, man. It's, it's real nice crates, a little bit of a collection, and we're doing something different today. I ain't gonna tell you what, what's the difference, but I'm gonna knock on the door and let y'all be the judge of the difference. Let's knock on the door and raid these crates. My man Ken Cuss not here right now. Hangover, drunk, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna knock on the door, see what's up, see whose house this is. Let's go. I gotta, I gotta hide the address so y'all be trying to get up in here. I gotta hide the address so they don't try to come to your crib, you know what I mean? What's up? Y'all see who it is, it's Afro DJ, you know what I mean? Crate collector, DJ, you know what I mean? So we'll go up in and read the crates. <laughs> so, we're here once again, Crate Raider style. Y'all know how it goes down. Um, introduce yourself to the people one time for the people that don't know, for the ignorant, you know what I mean? <laughs> My name is DJ Afro DJ Yak. All right. What I, what I came here to do and what we do is we crate rate. You know what I mean? Okay. We, we come and we want to see you as a collector or you as a DJ. Right. Um, what you consider your top three pieces. Okay. Um, let's let's start with piece number one. All right. Piece number mm -hmm. one. All right. Let's clean up the ghetto. Uh, PIR, Philadelphia International Radio. Okay. I'm sorry, records. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, right. it's the radio. Right. Um, and I actually, I met Kenny Gamble not too long ago and I had the honor of hearing him talk about this album and how it came together mm -hmm. and um, I came across this album in a record store for less than the price that's listed on there and wow. I was like, this is a come up! Yes, that's a real come up! <laughs> so uh, this is just a, it has a, more of an emotional feel to me because, um, you know, Clean Up the Ghetto, he really put this project together to put out a message to people about, you know, how he wanted them to live. And if you know anything about King Gamble, right. he has lived with that, you know, message himself. He's bought property in Philadelphia. He's, you know, made first time home buyers out of right. people, you know. Um, he just recently got a road named after him, so right. it's just like that was a you know. Big up Kenny Gamble, yeah. coming to raid your crate soon too. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know you got gems. So, and now, now, did you know about this album ahead of time? Like, or no, did you I didn't. Come across it? I was, and a lot of albums get me like this. I was compelled by the the photo of them. Yeah. I was like, who's this little girl sitting right. on these steps in this pretty white ass dress? Right, right. <laughs> and his dirty steps around her. Right. A lot of times the album covers be ill and you don't yeah, even know what it is until exactly, you pick it up. Exactly, exactly. Especially the older joints because, you know, it's either ill photo or mm -hmm. ill, ill artwork. Right, right. You know, like exactly. really, really intense artwork. I gotta find one of those for you. Oh, yeah. Let me, let, let, let's, let's talk about this. So, you when you came across it, you, you, you liked the photo and you picked it up. Yeah. And you checked it out. Yeah. How long have you had this? I've had that record for probably about six years. Six years. Mhm. Mm okay, so it didn't take it didn't take uh, long for it to become you know one of your top favorite you know. Nah, albums. nah, 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 nah. What's your favorite journal? D, D. D. Sharp, Gamble. All right. This is his first wife, wow. D. D. Sharp, and um, she sings uh, Ooh Child. Wow. On here, it's some good joints on here though, like the OJ's. I did a um. A little, you know, Philly International mix once, mm. and, you know, was able to really like go into my crates and okay. put some music together, and I was a little yeah, surprised. You ever like, hear OJ? Yeah. Um, OJ music? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
love that song. Yeah, that song is crazy. Bell off of this record. Oh, Archie Bell. Mm -hmm. Archie Bell. Yeah. 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 So, um, we got a little Lou Rawls on here. Yeah. Um, That's why I said it's a who's who of uh, 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 Philly International. Yeah. Carol Melvin, you yeah. know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. You know what I, mean? I want to reach behind the Mumia joint and okay. pull out something. Okay. Let me see. You want to do that? Yeah, let me, let me just pull out something right. and see what it is. All you know right. what I mean? See what catch my eye. Oh, that might have been a good one. Yeah, I just, uh, you know how to, uh, Oh, man, this is a great one. Crazy, this yeah. is a great one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about this one. Yeah, let's one. talk about it. This covers, is, uh, covers catch my eye, you know? This is the Savannah band, right? So, so, so tell me about this. Yeah, there's a joint on here. There's also the, um, well, that's the Cherze La Femme. Right, right, right. And right, he did right. La Um, and then, uh, Sun Shower. Also, uh, the girl, the joint. Mm, okay. She had an album called, uh, I think, like Arula or Arula or something like that, and okay. she sampled the Sun Showers on there. Now, um, how long you had this? Oh man, see, this is a tricky one because this one was something that I got in like a bundle of other records. Right. I would say, you know, again, close to ten years ago, I started doing this brunch where I would bring out my vinyl and play like just random stuff while people sat and ate. So I started kind of like digging through my own records, right, 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 right. <laughs> you know right, what I mean? Just to find out what you had, see? Yeah, exactly. so I came across <laughs> this and, uh, and I found the sample and then found the Sun Shower sample and I was like, how did I not know I had this, so. Now how did you get into to DJing and digging and, and, and collecting? Well, the two are different to me, right, right. you know what I mean? Um, I used to coach a dance team and um, so I used to take all of our little tapes to, to a DJ and I'd okay. be like, all right, I want this 15 seconds and then stop, and then I want this 30 okay. seconds and then stop. So you got right then. So yeah, you I was doing just that. Exactly, exactly. So once I met a DJ and was able to really connect with him, okay. um, he really he took me under his wing, showed me what he knew, and then I got my own equipment, and it was a wrap for me. Uh, okay. And I was, you know, always looking for records, and there was this big, big flea market, and they had record vendors out mm. there, and um. These kids and I, I met them. I started talking with them. I, I like bought like maybe twenty bucks in records, you know, like two dollar records, two dollar right, records. Right, right. And so then I overheard them, you know, like yeah, we about to pack it up, you know what I mean? We want to take this stuff. We should probably just drop it off at the Salvation Army. What? Like these are tables of records. And you about to take this? Like yeah, we didn't sell as much as we thought we would, so we just gonna drop the rest. I was like, y'all live right around the corner, so. If you gonna drop the rest of this to South right. the Army, I will take this. Yeah. And so he, you know, my poor landlord allowed me <laughs> to stack like boxes and boxes and boxes so, of records in the hallway. So how many, um, you know, these tables, of, you know, how many crates would you say they were about, you know, give away? Oh man, that's where I got most of my collection from. I would wow. say it was probably about 50 crates. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I came up on that free. Wow. Yeah, that's how I got most of my wax and then, um, from there, it just became like, you know, this thing, I already had some of this stuff at home, so whenever I would go somewhere, you know, whether I'm traveling, if I'm in Miami, if I'm in Boston, wherever I am, I'm like, where's the record store? Right. And so, you know, even if it's a mom and pop joint, even if it's a huge commercial joint, you know, okay. wherever I am, I gotta pick up some vinyl. Uh, let's get into your second piece. My second piece, this is a fairly new piece. Okay. Uh, right, Sharon yeah. Jones and the Dap Kings. Mm. Yeah, Sharon Jones is she like. Look, this. Elle. She like, don't test me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This, she look like this is real, right? Here. You know what I'm saying? This is real soul, a real, you know, real. I've learned. Oh, I've learned the hard way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look at it. It's real. I picked up this in uh in Miami. Mm -hmm. 
at this record store. And this woman just has like this incredible, soulful voice. Like she's just straight out of like 63 or something. Mm. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, right. And um, she plays with this band of white boys, the Dap Kings. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like the energy that they all bring together is just amazing. So what's, um, so what's your journey off of that? Or is it oh man, she has like, I had joints on here. Yeah. Um, Mama don't like my man. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. The first, the first, you know, uh, quote unquote instances of the woman's point of view. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's exactly. Like, Mama don't like my man. <laughs> Mama don't like my man. Yeah. Uh, window shopping is a good one. Okay. Um, uh, I love the hard way. Okay. Let's see, I learned the hard way to try to track. Okay. And the thing about it, hold on, let me hold it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> now the thing about it, they got the watermelon, but they knew not to have the black kids yeah, eating the watermelon. Like, give us a little white girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause that'd have been too yes. much. Having that, you know what I'm saying? Put yes. that over there with her, that'd be like, no. Yeah. Her like, give her a hot dog. <laughs> I've, I've had this for probably about four years. All right. I did specialty bother this you did. Yeah. <laughs> I feel a little embarrassed. No, nah, that's good. That's good funny right there, because I just bought a uh cap not a captain, Captain Kangaroo record. Okay, word, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. so every year I go into this space with myself where I'm like, yo, you gotta really start producing. You gotta really start producing, mm -hmm. really start getting your music and stuff out there. So I pick up little random stuff. Right. Cause I'm like, I can either sample it or I can just intro, intro it yeah. in and it's actually outro it out, whatever. I really like going back to the artwork. Like this mm -hmm. yes. is, you that's know, what, all illustrated. Uh-huh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So bright colors, you know, definitely in illustrated penmanship. Right. You know, the black people or the people look like caricatures right. almost, you right. know. Exactly. Um, and it really seems like it was drawn for that specific era. Like you look at the hats yeah. and you know, the hairstyles. <laughs> Right. And, you know, all of that. Exactly. So. Even Big Bird got a pro. Yeah, man. Big Bird got a pro. And it's detailed, yeah. like, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to grab one more. We're going to okay. get to your favorite one. Oh, Brothers Johnson. Mm -hmm. Brothers Johnson. Mm -hmm. I really remember this record from being younger. Mm -hmm. um, and my mom talking about Strawberry, Letter 23. Yes. Um, 
And then recently I um I discovered Shug Yotis, who was the original, you know, mm -hmm. writer of that song. So yeah. that's been nice too. Uh Quincy Jones, right. another, another Quincy Jones production. Mm -hmm. Um and these dudes' outfits, like, <laughs> let's not, like, let, yeah, let's not you know what I mean? front, like. <laughs> it's dead, you know what I mean? It's yeah. dead, it's like, what? You know what I'm saying? Got to unbutton down, you know what I'm saying, to the bottom. flying in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. You gotta love it. Let's get into that uh, third piece. The third piece? It's the third piece. It's the third piece. And um, this compelling photo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Otis Redding. The soul album. Classic. And this has been one of my favorites even since before Ye and Jay mm -hmm. sampled. And this woman is just beautiful. She's yes, like she stunning. Is. This is, she got this head wrap, you know, going over. It's very that like, drove, yeah, that would have drove me, you know, quickly. <laughs> yeah. Quick. Even if it didn't have all the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So what's your cut off of there? Uh I like cigarettes and coffee. Because <laughs> I do. I like it. <laughs> Oh. Let me find out every every one of your uh, favorite songs <laughs> got some hidden meaning. Mama don't like my boyfriend. Cigarette. I have related to that boy. <laughs> I'm like, well, mom, he's great. Like, no, leave that nigga alone. <laughs> so, um, treat her right. Mm. That's also a good one on here. Okay. Um, <laughs> Six, three, four, five, yeah, seven, seven, eight, nine. nine. <laughs> <laughs> I like the title of that, but that's not really right. Like, I'm sick of the team out here. This is one of the most honest things to come on and let it. Like, yeah. bro, you can't really be cool. It's early in the morning. Your voice is crazy. About a quarter to three. I'm sitting here talking with my baby. Every time you go out, you find something that you 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 want. But mm -hmm. do you have a list in your head? No, you, never. You know, no, never. Never. Uh -uh. You don't have a. Do you have a list of things that you you want? I do have one record that I want, mm -hmm. and it's a hip hop record. It's a Philly hip hop record. It's um, it's by the P Brothers. The P Brothers. Yeah, and it's one of them records that like you know it was made, but it never saw the light of day. Okay. And so they made like a hundred copies of it, and I think that. Um, About what what, era, what 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 year? This was like you know maybe two years before Schooly D dropped his okay. first record. So. So like eighty. <laughs> right. P Brothers. So I want that. Like right. that's a part of like Philly history. Yeah. There was only so many made, and it was. P brother. Yeah. I see it. It's my first time in them and I'm and, you know, I I listen to a lot of Philly hip hop and I thought I knew pretty much at least heard about everybody from Philly. Right, right. Alright, so Yeah, I, was, I told you it was one of the things that was made but it, it never really saw the light of day. Because of some label stuff. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a list that you, you know you you, you want mm -hmm. besides the P brothers. Right. Um when you go out and you look you look for records how do you get that feeling that says, I'm taking this home and listen to it right now? Right, right. Is it the picture? You know, what is it? What is it Sometimes about? Sometimes it's the artwork. A lot of times it's the artwork on the album. Um, more often than not, I pick up something that I have heard of someone being involved in. So say, for example, um, 
the bass player from this band mm. has a solo album. Okay. So I want to know more about this person, right. you know, because I know that they've done work over here that I admire. Right. And so I want to like know more about them. Right. Or, um, you know, maybe somebody that I admire as a producer produced the album okay. and I don't know about the particular artist, but you know. You well, I'm gonna I'm reach into one more, one okay. more group and pull out one more joint. Okay. Uh, let's see. do something on the bottom. On the bottom, mm -hmm. we'll do something. Right. Well, since I dig the roots and I'm from Philly, I'm gonna dig the roots. <laughs> Wild pitch. All right. Let's, let's see what that is. <laughs> All right. So tell me about that joint right there. This right here is the <laughs> OC Times Up. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Single. Yeah. This is probably one of the first pieces of vinyl I bought, honestly. Cause um, you an OC fan? Like, I was an OC fan, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, when I first started DJing, I was really very much into trying to bring classic music and into well, classic hip hop mm -hmm. into the modern music and mesh them right. together well. So this was definitely one of the first joints I bought. It's probably like nice and worn out. <laughs> <laughs> On it. But it's used. Yeah. It's not worn, it's used. It's used. <laughs> That's right, used. <laughs> um, so, yeah, time's up. One of my favorite joints. You lack the minerals, the vitamins, iron, and the niacin. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is the niacin? Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, Afro, I appreciate you giving us this time. Oh, absolutely. This is fun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun aspect, and it's fun for me, too, because to get, a, like I said, a woman's perspective. Mm -hmm. And not only a woman's perspective, but a person who knows their music's perspective. Right, you thank know what I'm saying? So you got into it, um, like writing on the edge of before, you know, things went from wax to digital, right. to Rado, you know, the table. Mm -hmm. What made you get into keeping it? Well, see, at that point in my career, which I'm really grateful for, but I couldn't afford to, you know, buy all that shit, you know, mm. when it came to like, I remember sitting in, in in my living room with a musician and him showing me his MacBook. Mm -hmm. You know? Right, right, <laughs> and I'm right. like, yo, I'll never be able to do that. <laughs> never be able to afford a MacBook. Right. And you gotta get the Serato. And all I had was my turntables oh, and a okay. shitty mixer. You okay. know what I'm saying? And so that's what I used. I practiced on it. I, I worked on getting my chops up. I listened to records. I listened to music. So it just became like this relationship I created mm -hmm. with my vinyl, you know? Right. Once I came up on all of this vinyl, right. I was just like, it was it was my new thing. I did not watch TV in my apartment. Mm. There was pretty much no TV in my apartment. Mm. So it was all about music. I was right. one of those people, if you came over to visit, I'm yeah. going on a record, we're going to chill, we're going to smoke something, we're going to talk, you uh, know, exactly. and we're going to really get to experience, have this experience together. Right. You were going to really build money. with me and listen That's to some music. Right and so with all of that becoming like such a big part of my experience and bonding with people, like I couldn't let this go. This, right. this has this has to be a part of how I'm living from here on out. You know how we get down, man. Your boy Cook, my man Jazz behind the camera, my man DJ Ken Cuts drunk from last night and couldn't get up, <laughs> but it's all good. You know what I mean? Peace.